Have you ever wondered how far you would go when following orders, even if it meant breaking the rules or putting someone at risk? That's what a group of researchers wanted to find out back in 1966, a pivotal year for medical research. They designed a clever and intricate experiment at a real hospital. The goal was simple. See how nurses would react when given an order that went against hospital rules and could potentially harm a patient. What they discovered was shocking and gave us valuable insights into the power of authority and obedience. This experiment has become known as the Hoffling Hospital Experiment, a landmark study. It's a story about nurses, doctors, and the surprising choices people make under intense pressure. This experiment is a stark reminder that even the best of us can be swayed by authority, sometimes with potentially dangerous consequences. By understanding this experiment and its implications, we can learn to be more aware of our own behavior and think critically, even when faced with authority figures. Imagine a typical day at a busy hospital, the hustle and bustle, the constant movement, the beeping of machines, and the murmur of conversations. Doctors are rushing from one patient to another, their white coats flapping as they move. Nurses attending to patients, checking vital signs, administering medication, and offering comforting words. The atmosphere is a mix of urgency and routine, a delicate balance of chaos and order that defines the daily operations of a hospital. This is the setting for the Hoffling Hospital experiment, conducted in 1966 at a real hospital. The era was different, but the essence of hospital life remained the same. The researchers chose a setting that felt authentic because they wanted to observe natural behavior. They needed the environment to be as realistic as possible to ensure the validity of their findings. The experiment involved 22 nurses working on different wards, each immersed in their daily routines, unaware of the study taking place around them. They were unaware that they were part of a study. This lack of awareness was crucial to the experiment's success. This was crucial to ensure their reactions were genuine and not influenced by being observed. The authenticity of their behavior was paramount to the researchers. Each nurse received a phone call while on duty. The call came unexpectedly, adding an element of surprise to the scenario. The call was from a doctor they hadn't met before. This unfamiliarity was intentional designed to test the nurses' responses to authority. This seemingly ordinary phone call was, in fact, the heart of the experiment. It was a carefully crafted scenario to explore human behavior. The researchers were interested in seeing how the nurses would respond to the doctor's instructions, especially since these instructions would soon take them into ethically ambiguous territory. The instructions given were not just routine medical orders. They were designed to push the boundaries of the nurses' ethical and professional judgment. The stage was set for a fascinating exploration of obedience and authority within the hospital walls. The results would reveal much about human nature and the power dynamics in medical settings. The doctor on the phone was an actor, following a script prepared meticulously by the researchers. This wasn't just any script, it was designed to test the boundaries of professional ethics and decision-making under pressure. He identified himself as a doctor on staff, a figure of authority, but one unknown to the nurses. This anonymity was a key element, creating a scenario where the nurses had to rely solely on the voice and the instructions given. This was deliberate, adding a layer of authority but also unfamiliarity. The nurses were put in a position where they had to balance their trust in the medical hierarchy against their own professional judgment. The doctor's instructions were simple but crucial to the experiment. He ordered the nurses to administer a dose of a fictional drug called Astrogen to a specific patient on their ward. The name Astrogen was chosen to sound plausible, yet it was entirely made up. Here's where the experiment gets interesting. Astrogen didn't exist. It was a fabrication, a test to see how far the nurses would go in following orders. More importantly, the dosage the doctor ordered was twice the maximum daily limit clearly stated on the drug's label. This was not a subtle detail. It was a glaring red flag. This was a critical detail designed to see if the nurses would prioritize the doctor's authority over their own knowledge and hospital protocol. The stakes were high and the nurses' responses would reveal much about human behavior in hierarchical structures. The nurses were trained professionals, well-versed in drug dosages and hospital procedures. They had years of experience and a deep understanding of the importance of following medical guidelines. They were also taught to question any orders that seemed unclear or potentially harmful to patients. 
This was a fundamental part of their training, emphasizing patient safety above all else. This phone call put them in a tricky situation. They had to decide whether to trust the unfamiliar doctor's authority or rely on their own professional judgment and training. Would they follow the doctor's orders even though it meant disregarding safety rules, or would they challenge his authority? The tension was palpable. The outcome of this experiment would provide valuable insights into the dynamics of authority and obedience in high-stakes environments. The results of the Hoffling Hospital experiment were startling, to say the least. This experiment, conducted in the 1960s, aimed to explore the extent to which medical professionals would obey authority, even when it conflicted with their own professional judgment and hospital protocols. Out of the 22 nurses who received the phone call, 21 of them followed the doctor's orders and prepared to administer the astrogen. This was despite the fact that the dosage ordered was twice the maximum limit stated on the medication's label, and the order was given by a doctor they had never met. They were stopped by the researchers before actually giving the medication. The researchers intervened just in time to prevent any potential harm to the patients, but the implications of their findings were profound. This meant that 95% of the nurses were willing to break hospital rules and potentially put a patient at risk, all because they were following the orders of a doctor they had never met. The nurses were aware that the medication was unauthorized and the dosage was dangerous, yet the authority of the doctor overrode their own professional judgment. These findings sent shockwaves through the medical community and beyond. The experiment highlighted a critical vulnerability in the healthcare system, the potential for authority to overshadow critical thinking and ethical decision-making. They challenged the common assumption that people in positions of responsibility, like nurses, would always prioritize patient safety and critical thinking over blind obedience. The results suggested that the hierarchical nature of the medical field could sometimes lead to dangerous levels of compliance. The experiment showed that even in a setting with clear protocols and ethical guidelines, the influence of authority could be surprisingly strong. It revealed that the presence of an authoritative figure could compel individuals to act against their better judgment. The Hoffling Hospital experiment isn't just a fascinating anecdote, it's a stark reminder of the power dynamics at play in hierarchical structures like hospitals. It underscores the need for ongoing training and education to empower healthcare professionals to question orders that seem unethical or unsafe. The results raised important questions about how we perceive and react to authority, even when it might be at odds with our own judgment and ethical compass. It prompted discussions about the importance of fostering an environment where questioning and critical thinking are encouraged. It made people wonder what factors contribute to this obedience and how can we mitigate the risks associated with it. The experiment's legacy continues to influence training programs and policies aimed at ensuring that healthcare professionals feel empowered to prioritize patient safety and ethical standards over blind obedience to authority.